Happy New Year, everyone, and welcome. Dr. Wayne Dyer said, if you change the way you look at things, the way you look at things change. Let me repeat that. If you change the way you look at things, the way you look at things change. I am going to talk about four of many tips you can do to look at things differently. The first one, look for the positive in each situation. The second one is change your perception of other people. Three, keep an open mind. And four, avoid falling back into those old patterns. Look for the positive in each situation. We often tend to see the events that impact us negative in the worst possible light. Your membership is down. Members aren't going to meetings. The club is going to close. Oh, look in the positive side. You're still having meetings. Might not be 100% of your membership, but you are still having meetings. They are still giving speeches. Since many of you are working from home, invite your family members to sit on, in on meetings. Invite your friends that are also working at home that might need that social interaction. Invite them to your Toastmasters meetings. It might help put a little smile on their face. Look how far we have come in this new virtual world. We learned another skill, Zoom. Who'd have thought? And how have we evolved? This COVID thing or whatever it is, will pass. We need to be positive, to keep positive. Take those negative thoughts and throw them away. Those negative thoughts were in 2020. We are in 2021. Second, change your perception of other people. Everyone is different. My best friend hates chocolate, but I love chocolate. So something must be wrong with her, right? wrong. Maybe not change your perception, but rather open your eyes to that person. Try and live in that person's shoes. Example, a few members never come to meetings lately. They must hate our club. They must not be interested in Toastmasters. But you can be furthest from the truth. That person has three kids. She's trying to work. She's trying to remotely teach her children, get lunch together, get dinner together. And the kids are screaming, mommy, mommy. And that hour that she should be in the Toastmasters meeting, she's making lunches or she's going over their work with them. Talk to your members, find out what truly is going on. Maybe you might want to change the time of your meetings for short term to make sure everybody can come or help to get more members back in your meetings. Three, that open mind of ours. It's good to have be open to new ideas. When I worked at Johnson & Johnson, I had to implement a new purchasing system. People hated me. I mean, really, really hated me. We went from a paper and pen system to a computerized system. During the training, people would yell at me using words that I just can't say here. They hated me, but that made me work that much harder to get them to embrace the change, to get them to look at things in a different light. And it worked. What worked pre-COVID for gaining new members might not work and probably won't work now. And after this whole thing is over, we will have a new normal. Will we be full-time at work? Who knows what's going on? We need to think outside the box, come up with better ways to get new members. 
a corporate club has a Yammer account. They put a note on it. Next Toastmasters meetings, they got four visitors. A community club. I went visit the two new members. We need to keep an open mind. And when we change the way we do things, things start to happen. And lastly, avoid falling back into that old patterns. As Anthony said, we always did it this way. Well, we got to think of a different way to do things now. Things will never be the same. There will be a new normal. What worked yesterday certainly is not going to work today. As Toastmasters, we learn that we must constantly change. And we learn how to deal with these changes from the legacy system to pathways. Did we get resistance? Yes. But going back to that new purchasing system I implemented, when we went from that paper and pen system to computerized, was it hard for this old chick? Yeah, it was. However, change can be good and we need to change our way of thinking to keep up in this world. We need to embrace this new world that might mean we have to change the way we do things, change the way we look at things. We as Toastmasters have the power to change and we have changed. We have learned a new tool in this virtual world. We're here right now, all in our little boxes. But we also need to embrace the changes that confront us. Remember my four tips of many. Look for the positive. Get rid of that Debbie Downer. She's no more. We'll look to the positive. Change your perception of other people. Keep your mind open. Avoid falling back to those same old patterns. Just like the pictures behind me. Do you see two faces or a vase? Do you see a young woman or an old woman? Dr. Wayne Dyer said, if you change the way you look at things, the way you look at things change. My question to you is, will you change the way you look at things? <laughs>